One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally, save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He to some degree. Adeptus name anyway. Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead. Her Adeptus name? Why pray tell would Shenhua have an Adeptus name? Uh, don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? What? You knew already? So is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha. Then aged around six years old, in her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. But not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm, did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. 
Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of Calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her... somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her.